And tonight, the FBI crackdown continues on white supremacist groups ahead of a pro-gun rally next Monday in Richmond, Virginia. Well, today, three suspected members of a neo-Nazi group were arrested in Georgia, charged with targeting left-wing activists. Jeff Pegues has more on their alleged murder plot. Police say the three men arrested in Georgia had trained at a camp for the white supremacist group known as The Base in the northwest part of the state. One of the men, Luke Lane, is charged with conspiracy to murder two members of the left-wing group Antifa. And Jay Tab really, is with the FBI. We would categorize them as racially motivated violent extremists. They are a neo-Nazi group uh, that believe in white uh, ethnicity and power and um, have called for a white ethno state in the United States. These arrests follow the capture of three other members of the base yesterday in Maryland. Law enforcement sources say members of the group had talked about sparking violence at Monday's gun rights rally in Richmond. That prompted the FBI to disrupt white supremacist groups before they could travel to the state capitol. Here in Richmond, increased security measures are being put in place amid the growing threat of violence, including the possible use of weaponized drones. Oren Siegel is with the Anti-Defamation League, which has been tracking the threats. For white supremacists and racists who believe that a race war has to start now, they're trying to leverage this moment. And so they are uh, recommending that people show up to start a battle. Wow, Jeff joins us now, and law enforcement has already made about half a dozen arrests. How concerned is the FBI about this neo-Nazi group? Well, they are concerned in fanning out across the country. In fact, late today, we learned of another arrest, this time in Wisconsin, also tied to the group, the base, a man who allegedly vandalized the synagogue. And so agents are going to be on high alert throughout the weekend. Meanwhile, President Trump weighed in on Monday's rally. He says that the Second Amendment is under attack and Democrats are to blame. Nora. All right, Jeff, thank you.